Nisargadatta Maharaj, the 17th of April 1897 to the 8th of September 1981, born Maruti Shivrampant Kambli, was a Hindu guru of non-dualism, belonging to the Inchajiri Sampradaya, a lineage of teachers from the Navnath Sampradaya and Lingayat Shaivism. The publication in 1973 of I Am That, an English translation of his talks in Marathi by Maurice Friedman, brought him worldwide recognition and followers, especially from North America and Europe. Biography <inaudible> Early life Nisargadatta was born on 17 April 1897 to Shivrampant Kambli and Parvati Bai, in Bombay. The day was also Hanuman Janti, the birthday of Hanuman, hence the boy was named Maruti, after him. His parents were followers of the Varkari Sampradaya, an egalitarian Vaishnavite bhakti tradition which worships Vithoba. His father, Shivrampant, worked as a domestic servant in Mumbai and later became a petty farmer in Candlegone. Maruti Shivrampant Kambli was brought up in Candlegone, a small village in the Sindhudurga district of Maharashtra, with his two brothers, four sisters and deeply religious parents. In 1915, after his father died, he moved to Bombay to support his family back home, following his elder brother. Initially he worked as a junior clerk at an office but quickly he opened a small goods store, mainly selling beaties, leaf-rolled cigarettes, and soon owned a string of eight retail shops. In 1924 he married Sumatabe and they had three daughters and a son. Sadhana <inaudible> <inaudible> In 1933, he was introduced to his guru, Siddharamishwar Maharaj, the head of the Inchajiri branch of the Navnath Sampradaya, by his friend Yashwantrao Bhagkar. His guru told him, You are not what you take yourself to be. Siddharamishwar initiated him into the Inchajiri Sampradaya, giving him meditation instruction and a mantra, which he immediately began to recite. Siddharamishwar gave Nisargadatta instructions for self-enquiry which he followed verbatim, as he himself recounted later, My guru ordered me to attend to the sense I am and to give attention to nothing else. I just obeyed. I did not follow any particular course of breathing, or meditation, or study of scriptures. Whatever happened, I would turn away my attention from it and remain with the sense I am. It may look too simple, even crude. My only reason for doing it was that my guru told me so. Yet it worked. Following his guru's instructions to concentrate on the feeling, I am, he used all his spare time looking at himself in silence, and remained in that state for the coming years, practicing meditation and singing devotional bhajans. My guru told me, Go back to that state of pure being, where the I am is still in its purity before it got contaminated with I am this or I am that, your burden is of false self-identifications. Abandon them all. My guru told me, Trust me, I tell you, you are divine. Take it as the absolute truth. Your joy is divine, your suffering is divine too. All comes from God. Remember it always. You are God, your will alone is done. I did believe him and soon realized how wonderfully true and accurate were his words. I did not condition my mind by thinking, I am God, I am wonderful, I am beyond. I simply followed his instruction, which was to focus the mind on pure being, I am, and stay in it. I used to sit for hours together, with nothing but the, I am, in my mind and soon the peace and joy and deep all-embracing love became my normal state. In it all disappeared, Myself, my guru, the life I lived, the world around me. Only peace remained, an unfathomable silence, I am that, Dialogue 51, April 16, 1971. After an association that lasted hardly two and a half years, Siddharamishwar Maharaj died on November 9, 1936. In 1937, Maharaj left Mumbai and travelled across India. After eight months he returned to his family in Mumbai in 1938. On the journey home his state of mind changed, realizing that nothing was wrong anymore. He spent the rest of his life in Mumbai, maintaining one shop to earn an income. <laughs> Later years Between 1942 to 1948 he suffered two personal losses, first the death of his wife, Sumatabe, followed by the death of his daughter. 
He started to give initiations in 1951, after a personal revelation from his guru, Siddharamishwar Maharaj. After he retired from his shop in 1966, Nisargadatta Maharaj continued to receive and teach visitors in his home, giving discourses twice a day, until his death on 8 September 1981 at the age of 84, of throat cancer. Teachings Style of teaching Nisargadatta gave talks and answered questions at his humble flat in Ketwadi, Mumbai, where a mezzanine room was created for him to receive disciples and visitors. This room was also used for daily chantings, bhajans, devotional songs, meditation sessions, and discourses. Kathy Busha notes that the Inchajiri Sampradaya emphasized mantra meditation from its inception in the early 19th century, but that the emphasis shifted toward a form of self enquiry with Sri Siddharamishwar. Nevertheless, Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj still gave mantra initiation, with the underlying point being that the mantra was more than sound, it was the absolute itself which could be reverberated throughout life in all circumstance. Busha also notes that Nisargadatta adopted a different mode of instruction, through questions and answers, for his Western disciples. Many of Nisargadatta Maharaja's talks were recorded, and formed the basis of I Am That as well as of the several other books attributed to him. Topic. Awareness of true nature According to Timothy Conway, Nisargadatta's only subject was Our real identity is the birthless deathless, infinite eternal absolute awareness or parabrahman, and its play of emanated universal consciousness. For Maharaj, our only problem an imagined one, is a case of mistaken identity, we presume to be an individual, and, originally and fundamentally, we are not an individual, we are intrinsically always and only the Absolute. Nisargadatta explains, The life force prana and the mind are operating of their own accord, but the mind will tempt you to believe that it is you. Therefore understand always that you are the timeless spaceless witness. And even if the mind tells you that you are the one who is acting, don't believe the mind. The apparatus mind body which is functioning has come upon your original essence but you are not that apparatus. Topic: <inaudible> self enquiry. According to Conway, awareness of the absolute could be regained by a radical disidentification from the dream of me and my world via intensely meditative self inquiry atma and supreme wisdom knowledge vijnana or jnana. I know only Atma Yoga, which is self-knowledge, and nothing else. My process is Atma Yoga, which means abidance in the self. Topic: <laughs> Devotion and mantra repetition. Nisargadatta was critical of a merely intellectual approach to nandal truth. He had a strong devotional zeal towards his own guru, and suggested the path of devotion, bhakti yoga, to some of his visitors, as he believed the path of knowledge. Jnana yoga was not the only approach to truth. Nisargadatta also emphasized love of guru and God, and the practice of mantra repetition and singing bhajans, devotional songs. Topic. Scriptures According to Timothy Conway, Nisargadatta often read Marathi scriptures, Nath St. Nyanavar's Amritanubhava and Nyansvari Gita commentary, Varkari Sants, namely Eknathas Bhagavat Eknathi Bhagavata, a rewrite of the Bhagavad Purana, Ramdas Dasbada, and Tukaram's poems, but also the Yoga Vasistha, Adi Shankara's treatises, and some major Upanishads. Nisarga Yoga Nisargadatta taught what has been called Nisarga Yoga Nisarga can be translated as nature. In I Am That, Nisarga Yoga is defined as living life with harmlessness, friendliness, and interest, abiding in spontaneous awareness while being conscious of effortless living. The practice of this form of yoga involves meditating on one's sense of I Am, Being, or Consciousness, with the aim of reaching its ultimate source prior to this sense, which Nisargadatta called the Self. 
The second edition of I Am that includes an epilogue titled Nisarga Yoga by Maurice Friedman which includes this passage, this dwelling on the sense I am is the simple, easy and natural yoga, the Nisarga Yoga. There is no secrecy in it and no dependence, no preparation is required and no initiation. Whoever is puzzled by his very existence as a conscious being and earnestly wants to find his own source, can grasp the ever-present sense of I am and dwell on it assiduously and patiently, till the clouds obscuring the mind dissolve and the heart of being is seen in all its glory. Nisargadatta did not prescribe a specific practice for self-knowledge but advised his disciples, Don't pretend to be what you are not, don't refuse to be what you are. By means of self-enquiry in the tradition of Advaita Vedanta, he advised, why don't you inquire how real are the world and the person? Nisargadatta frequently spoke about the importance of having the inner conviction about one's true nature and without such self-knowledge one would continue to suffer. Nisargadatta claimed that the names of the Hindu deities Shiva, Rama and Krishna were the names of nature Nisarga personified, and that all of life arises from the same non-dual source or self. Remembrance of this source was the core of Nisargadatta's message, you are not your body, but you are the consciousness in the body, because of which you have the awareness of I am. It is without words, just pure beingness. It has become soul of the world. In the absence of your consciousness, the world will not be experienced. Hence, you are the consciousness, remember what you have heard, meditate on it. Meditation means you have to hold consciousness by itself. The consciousness should give attention to itself. This consciousness is Ishwara. As there is no God other than this consciousness, worship it, the knowledge I am is God. It is Ishwara, as well as Maya. Maya is God's power. All the names of God are of this consciousness only in different forms. Remember the fact I am not the body and get firmly established. That is the sign of a true seeker. The seven principles of Nisarga Yoga as identified by Nick Higgum, 2018 Non-identification and right understanding Interest and earnestness Spontaneity and effortlessness Attentiveness to being Right action Going within to go beyond Awareness of self Lineage Disciples Among his best-known disciples are Maurice Friedman, Sailor Bob Adamson, Stephen Howard Velinsky born January 31, 1950, Jean Dunn, Alexander Smit Shri Parabrahmadatta Maharaj 1948-1998, Du Timersma January 7, 1945-January 3, 2013, Robert Powell, Timothy Conway, Wayne Dyer and Ramesh Balsekar 1917-2009. A less well-known disciple is Sri Ramakant Maharaj born July 8, 1941, who received the Nam Mantra from Nisargadatta in 1962, spent the next 19 years with the Master, and claims to be the only Indian direct disciple of Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj who offers initiation into this lineage. Sachin K. Shirsagar, who has published a series of books on Nisargadatta in the Marathi language and also republished Master of Self-Realization, says to have received the Nam mantra in a dream from Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj in October, 2011. Topic successors David Godman gives the following account of an explanation by Nisargadatta of the succession of gurus in the Inchijiri Sampradaya, I sit here every day answering your questions, but this is not the way that the teachers of my lineage used to do their work. A few hundred years ago there were no questions and answers at all. Ours is a householder lineage, which means everyone had to go out and earn his living. There were no meetings like this where disciples met in large numbers with the guru and asked him questions. Travel was difficult. There were no buses, trains and planes. In the old days the guru did the traveling on foot, while the disciples stayed at home and looked after their families. The guru walked from village to village to meet the disciples. If he met someone he thought was ready to be included in the Sampradaya, he would initiate him with mantra of the lineage. That was the only teaching given out. The disciple would repeat the mantra and periodically the guru would come to the village to see what progress was being made. When the guru knew that he was about to pass away, he would appoint one of the householder devotees to be the new guru, and that new guru would then take on the teaching duties, walking from village to village, initiating new devotees and supervising the progress of the old ones. 
According to David Godman, Nisargadatta was not allowed by Siddharamishwar to appoint a successor, because he wasn't realized himself when Siddharamishwar passed away. Nisargadatta started to initiate others in 1951, after receiving an inner revelation from Siddharamavar. Nisargadatta himself explains the Navnath Sampradaya is only a tradition, way of teaching, and practice. It does not denote a level of consciousness. If you accept a Navnath Sampradaya teacher as your guru, you join his Sampradaya. Usually you receive a token of his grace, a look, a touch, or a word, sometimes a vivid dream or a strong remembrance. Topic see also Maurice Friedman Ramana Maharshi Ramesh Balsekar Samarth Ramdas Robert Adams Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources Printed Sources Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj, Maurice Friedman, I Am That, Tamil Translation, Year 2016 Title Non Brahmam, Place equals Chennai, India Publisher equals Kanadasan Pathapagam ISBN 978-81-8402-782-2 Topic Web Sources Topic Further reading Stephen Howard Valinsky, I Am That I Am, a tribute to Sri Nisargadatta, 2000. ISBN 0-9670362-5-9. Peter Brent, Godmen of India. NY, Quadrangle Books, 1972, pp. 136-40. S. Gogate and P.T. Fadal, Meet the Sage, Sri Nisargadatta, Sri Sadguru Nisargadatta Maharaj Amrit Mahatsav Samiti, 1972. Neil Rosner, Swami Paramatmananda, On the Road to Freedom, A Pilgrimage in India, Volume 1, San Ramon, C.A., Mata Amritanandamaya Centre, 1987, pp. 212-8. Ramesh Sadashiv Balsekar, Explorations into the Eternal, Forays from the Teaching of Nisargadatta Maharaj, 1989. ISBN 0-89386-023-9. Ramesh Sadashiv Balsekar, Pointers from Nisargadatta Maharaj. 1990. ISBN 0-89386-033-6. Bertram Salzman, Awakened to the Eternal, Nisargadatta Maharaj, A Journey of Self-Discovery, 2006. ISBN 1-878019-28-7. Samitra Krishnarao Mullarpatan died September 2012, The Last Days of Nisargadatta Maharaj. India, Yogi Impressions Books, 2007. ISBN 81-88479-26-8. Dasbad, Spiritual Instruction for the Servant, St. Sri Samartha Ramdas, Sadguru Publishing, 2010 ISBN 978-0-615-37327-0. DVDs Awaken to the Eternal, Nisargadatta Maharaj, A Journey of Self-Discovery, 1995. Tattvamasi, You Are That 2009, 87 Minutes. Online <laughs> External links Nisargadatta Websites www.maharajnisargadatta.com, a resource website www.nisargadatta.co.uk, The Essential Message, Teachings of Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj Lineage Disciples of Nisargadatta Maharaj Works by or about Nisargadatta Maharaj at Internet Archive Background and Biographer Boucher, Kathy N. D., The Lineage of Nine Gurus. The Navnath Sampradaya and Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj Remembering Nisargadatta Maharaj, Reflections of David Godman Timothy Conway, Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj 1897-1981, Life and Teachings of Bombay's Fiery Sage of Liberating Wisdom Film SDVDS about Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj Videos about Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj Publications by Nisargadatta Maharaj Am that PDF.